Hey, I am Nick Hawks with Medio Scientific, and today's video is about how to get a Class C device onboarded onto the Helium network and into the Medio Scientific Chirp Stack console, and we'll also cover how to use the Class C device. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps this channel. Make sure that other people who are just like you can see this video as well and learn as well. And also make sure when you subscribe that as soon as I drop another video that you are one of the first to see it. So. There it is, let's see. Uh, we'll start off with what a Class C device is. So Class C is uh, for continuously listening. It's a device that listens continuously. In this case, we're gonna be using this guy right here. Uh, this Class C device is called a uh, busy light. This is a Quando busy light. So what this is, is a thing that's always listening for uh, a signal from the Helium network to say, hey, um, go ahead and turn on a different color. So right now it's not plugged in. There's the other end of the USB. Uh, we're going to plug it in and get this thing going. And then what we'll be able to do is turn this thing to red, green, blue, flashing, whatever color that you want to. And I'll show you how to do all of that stuff. I'm going to attempt the next step. Uh, actually, I will conduct the next step by putting on my glasses so I can see what is going on. And we'll cruise into the ChirpStack console. So as I've said before in a bunch of other videos, anyone can have access to a ChirpStack console account through Medio Scientific. Go to console.medioscientific.com. Get your own account. You get 400 free DC when you sign up so you can test and uh, play around with onboarding a device. Okay, so we'll start off by going to device profiles. And in this case, I've made it really easy to add a busy light. You don't need to type in really anything yourself. You're gonna hit that add device profile. We're gonna select a device profile template. It's already in here under Quando. Busy light, and then the firmware version, uh, I'm gonna add a US 915. You can change it to whatever you want. You'll see some of the cool things in here right now already are the fact that we've got the name in there, um, and you've got my business address if you really need to come see me. Uh, we got a description of what this thing is. Uh, we'll come back to this F port later, so just remember F port 15. If you wanna see the setup guide, the talk, uh, technical documentation, how to turn it different colors, it's all in there, as well as their email. Um, on how to uh, contact support. I've also put all of that stuff over in uh, the setup where I've, I've brought up the setup guide and the technical, doc technical documentation so we can look through all of that stuff later. Okay, so that is the first page. Uh, we're not gonna worry about this join OTA OBB. It's, it's on. This is not class B for beacon. This is class C for continuous. It's continuously listening. It's already turned on. You don't have to do any of this. Uh, you don't have to do anything here. The codec is already in there. So this thing kind of works out of the gate. We don't have any tags or measurements yet. That's totally fine. We're gonna hit submit. And we now have a new device profile, the busy light in our device profiles on our account. So let's cruise down to applications. We'll add an application. I'm gonna call this one busy light office. So I'll turn this thing, uh, I'll, I'll set this thing up so that uh, it's mounted and making sure that whenever someone is thinking about coming to my door, they know whether or not I'm recording video or not. So for video recording, you can use this for whatever you want. This is just a super easy one. I'll hit submit and now we've got an application. We are going to add a device and I've said this before, uh, you can do this however you want, but I keep a Google Sheet. I know the security conscious amongst you are aghast at that, but uh, that's what I do. That's got all my dev UIs, app UIs, all that stuff on here. So I'll be going down to the Plenum Busy Light tab and copying in my dev EUI. Uh, I will go ahead and go over to variables. I'll add a key for app EUI. I'll put the app EUI in there and then I'll go ahead and hit submit. We'll do the application key, just like you've seen me do in other videos, and we will have a device that is up and running. I will pause the video really quickly while I go ahead and put in that information. We'll come back and I will show you what it looks like when this thing comes online. Okay, cool. I have already got this sucker up and online. It has responded already. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when you do plug it in. So here's the USB cord. Let's actually make this thing a little bit um, easier for you to see here. So a USB cord here, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in over on the uh, my USB hub so we feed this thing power. The thing with US, uh, sorry, with Class C devices is they do need continuous power. So that is the, uh, the kind of one downside is they need power all the time. When you first plug it in, it'll flash uh, blue a couple times. It'll go soft yellow. You can see over the documentation, it talks a little bit about this. It's yellow right now. Not sure how well you can see that. And then after a while, once it reaches out to the network and connects up, it will turn green uh, like it just did. And that's how you know the thing is ready to go. 
So let's cruise back now. And actually, I'll just leave it on here so you can see what's going on with this busy light down here. Um, and we'll go over and talk about how you get this thing to change colors. Now, there are two ways to get this thing to change colors. One is the manual method that I'm about to show you, where you come into console and you go ahead and turn it uh, red or green or whatever it is that you want uh, right exactly or directly from console. The other way, which we'll cover in another video, is how you automate that. So maybe you push a button, maybe a door opens or closes, maybe the air quality changes and you want to signal everyone in the room that the air quality has changed. There's a bunch of different ways to automate that, but for right now, we are just going to do the really basic stuff and show you how this works um, at, a, at a manual level. So what we're going to do here is in configuration, we've got uh, the description, which is busy light at the office. Uh, that is fantastic right there. What we need are the numbers or the, the names of all the different, um, or sorry, what we need are the codes for turning the light different colors. We can go over to technical documentation and grab some of those codes. So I'm going to grab the code for red. And what you might want to do is in your description is you might say red, this will just make it easier for you in the future, is this right here. The other thing, if you remember from earlier in the video, we talked about the F port being 15. You just got to kind of remember that. Um, we are going to, I'll quickly submit this. Uh, we're going to go over to Q in your console and we're going to change the F port to 15. We'll go down to this field right here. We're going to leave it on hex because that's what this, uh, that's what it's in. I'm going to switch over to the busy light so you can see it right now. That color is green. That might make it a little bit easier to see. Nope. I'll just leave it right down here, but uh, take my word for it that it's green. I'm going to hit the NQ button, which will send this. And what should happen is it'll turn to red, which it did. So if that happened within, I don't know, a second or so. You can turn it to any color you want. You can turn it to flashing blue if you want. You can turn it to purple. I'll set it to flashing right now just to kind of show you how that works. So again, F port 15, go ahead and paste in your hex code there for flashing blue. We'll hit the NQ button and this thing will start to flash blue. Now I got to turn that thing back to a solid color. Otherwise it'll uh, distract the heck out of me, but you can change it to a bunch of different colors and all of those colors are detailed in the manual. Let's get this thing back to green so I can pay attention. Sweet. sweet. So there it is uh, green right there. Um, we can go back to the manual here and if you want to, it tells you what uh, all the different um, colors are that you might want to choose. It also tells you how to set those colors. So you're going to be doing different mixtures of the red color intensity and then how long it's on or off for. Those would be 0 to 255. That's a, a straight hex ASCII uh, change. So pretty straightforward stuff. Um, I can show you how to do it in another video, but it's going to be in hex and you're going to end up with uh, these things right here. So. That's how you use the busy light. That's how you use a class C device. You can see that the onboarding process is pretty much no different than any other device. Um, I made this really easy for the specific uh, device because there's already that template in there. But if you're going to do your own template, just remember that uh, pretty much the only thing you need to change that is outside of normal is when you're doing the initial onboard piece, it'll say, uh, do you want this thing to be class C? And you got to switch that toggle over so that it is class C. For right now, we've got a a device that is onboarded and working. If you wanted to check out the different events and frames and all the rest of that stuff, we've seen that before. Uh, uplinks, uh, you can see some downlinks in there if we wait around, so unconfirmed data down. Remember when I sent the queue, not remember, you may have noticed I didn't send confirm. You can certainly hit the confirm button. And if you did, uh, when we go over to LoRaWAN frames, instead of seeing this as unconfirmed, we'll see it as confirmed. So that's what's going on there. That is how to use a Class C device on the Helium network with the Medio Scientific ChirpStack console account. Rock and roll. Please remember to hit the like or subscribe button if this was useful for you. That'll help you find the next video when I send it out. It'll also help other people who are trying to learn how the system works find this as well. Have a ripping day. I am out of here.